Hi guys, welcome back. And today on Friday we're looking at a singer-songwriter who I know a lot classify him as country. But he's not like your new country music. He's not like old country and western. I like to call it Texas honky-tonk music. And I'm talking about Joe Ely. Now I first heard of Joe Ely when he was working solo. Before that he'd been with a band called the Flatliners with Butch Hancock and uh, Jimmy Dale Gilmore. But that band, while I put out one album, really didn't stay together too long and they each went off on solo uh, projects. So I'd first heard of Joe Ely on, it was either Austin City Limits or Soundstage. Back in the mid 70s I had a PBS channel out of Watertown, uh, New York called WNPE, WNPI. And they ran these kind of specialty music programs. It was Soundstage, it was Austin City Limits, and I know there was another one besides that. But I'll tell you, a lot of the people I started to listen to were people that I had heard on these shows. And I really have to give a big shout out to public television for uh, providing exposure for these people that we weren't getting anywhere else. Broadcast TV was not doing it. A lot of them were very regional acts that were not getting on, on radio. So public TV was a real bonus in exposing these people to the public. And Joe Ely was one of the bands I enjoyed. I mean, I also had David Bromberg, was one of my favorites. Um, John Prine, Tom Waits, Barry Chapin Carpenter. All of these people appeared on, it was either Soundstage or a lot of times Austin City Limits. Anyway, so I had picked up a couple of uh, Joe Ely albums after I saw him on, I think it was Austin City Limits that time. And there were some songs, uh, basically it was a Butch Hancock song called Sucking a Big Bottle of Gin. And I don't know if you're familiar with it, it is online. I found that it was hilarious. I went out and looked up some other stuff by Joe Ely and my first album was one called Musta Nada Got A Lotta. Uh, and it wasn't bad, I mean it was good music, the same kind of stuff I was listening to. I didn't recognize a lot of the songs then, <clears throat> but over the years they've kind of grown on me. But for most people to jump in, again, I would recommend more of a Greatest Hits album to uh, get an idea what this artist is all about. And this one is 20th Century Masters. I've mentioned them before. I think I talked about them when we did uh, Springsteen, when we did uh, Rod Stewart, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. This series by the 20th Century Masters is just excellent. Excellent packaging, information in it as well as a good selection of music. Now on here he's got uh, 12 tunes and they're either written by him, Gilmore, or Butch Hancock. So basically all the Flatliners are represented. Um, I don't know if there'd be many that you might recognize offhand. We've got She Never Spoke Spanish to Me, The Sucking Big Bottle of Gin, Road Goes On Forever, Me and Billy the Kid was a big hit for Joe. Uh, must have not, I got a lot of which actually was Must Have Not I Got A Lot Of Sleep Last Night, was the, the song was written by Joe Ely. But a whole different style of music. Now, I find I don't listen to country music a lot. Um, but when I do, I listen to these more obscure styles, or more regional styles. And this one, with the Texas honky tonk style, I find really appealing. It's really fun to crank this out once in a while. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you get a chance, check it out. He's online. He's uh, on YouTube. You can find him on the streaming networks. Hard copies are out there as well. It's Joe Ely. And enjoy some honky tonk for the weekend. Okay, everybody have a great weekend. Take care. We'll see you on Monday.